Hi, I'm Jason. Today I'm going to present my video presentation during my internship in Resort World Gunting. Resorts World Gunting is a household name in Malaysia. Like many kids growing up in KL, I spent holidays with my family up in these cooler climbs far from the chaotic streets of the capital. Much has changed since I was a kid, but this is just the beginning with lots of exciting things on the way. My journey begins by taking to the sky. The Awana Skyway's exclusively glass-floored gondolas will take you up the hill from the new Awana station with incredible panoramic views of the highlands. On your way up, stop off at the Chin Sui Caves Temple. It's hard to believe you're only an hour away from KL. Continuing up the hill, check out the view of the 130 million year old rainforest below. And if your battery dies from too many selfies, you can even recharge your phone en route. I really love the air up here. It feels like such an escape from the city. We might be up in the hills, but Resorts World Gunting has all of the home comforts. Sky Avenue is the all-new shopping and dining center with over 70 dining and retail options in an incredibly modern setting. You're guaranteed to get your shopping fix. Sky Avenue is perfect for shopaholics, but I'm a foodie at heart, so this is where I come into my own. This place is home to so many food outlets, including some food that you won't find anywhere else in the world. Hailing from the UK, Burger & Lobster stays true to its name by offering just three items on the menu. Manager Fabrizio told me why. The whole idea here is just to keep it things simple. You know, three items on the menu, that's it. You know, you either come for a burger or lobster or lobster roll. Genting itself, I think, is a fantastic place to, to work. The whole environment is unique and it's full of energy. It's, it's the place where things are happening at the moment in Malaysia. If there is one place that is constantly evolving and changing, it is Genting. On Fabrizio's recommendation, I went for the chili lobster, which smells incredible, and it's only available here in Genting. But what I really want is the lobster roll. It's filled to the brim with lobster, and as if the homemade brioche wasn't buttery enough, it comes with a whole side of melted butter. Motorino started on the streets of Brooklyn and now has cult status across the world. Motorino has a great menu. But really, it's all about the pizza. They're cooked in just 90 seconds in a super hot oven and they come out crispy and perfect. Just next door, France's top roaster Café Richa is an authentic brasserie with artisan coffee, pastries and a full menu of lovely French delicacies. It's the first branch in the world and offers a little slice of Paris. The, the food at Café des Chats, it's uh, all about the brasserie Parisian way, so we try to, uh, to give you a different experience, morning, lunch, high tea, and dinner time. Parisian experience is just take a time to enjoy, and it's why we, uh, we love to have a good taste, and because uh, I believe this moment is a privileged moment, and we take a time to enjoy it. When it comes to food, I do love to live it up a little, but ultimately my heart is here in Malaysia and you just can't beat the taste of home. Malaysian food street is pretty much heaven to me. There are five different zones that represent food from all over Malaysia. The only problem is trying to fit it all in, but I'm gonna give it a go. It's hard to believe how different Resorts World Gunting is now and the changes that have been made since I was a kid coming here with my family. And yet, this is only the first step of a huge reinvention. I had a great time exploring everything on offer up in the relaxing hills of the Highlands, and I guarantee that before long, I'll be back. During this four-month internship at Genting, I have go to three different departments. The departments that I have joined are Genting Grand and Coffrock Butler, Coffee Terrace and Imperial Rama. This is my first department that I have joined, the Genting Grand and Coffrock Butler. This is my working schedule given by the club director, Mr. Silen. The first week, I have worked as an operation team at the Coffrock Butler and the following week with the operation team 
at Genting Grand and the third week I follow the manager and the last week I work with the club director. During my internship at the operation team, I have learned a lot of things. The first thing is the roam services. I have learned how to set up the table and deliver the food to the customer within the time given. The next is the laundry service. I have learned how to collect and send the laundry to the laundry department. The last is the meeting setup. After two weeks in the operation team, now I am shadowing the butler manager. With the manager, I have learned how to do the daily report. Next, he also teach me how to manage the workflow of the staff. With the manager, I also have a chance to attend the daily meeting and observe what they doing in the meeting. For the last week, I follow the club director, which is Mr. Silen. He teach me how to do the monthly and the P&L report. He also bring me along to attend the weekly meeting, which is held at every Wednesday. This is my next department, Coffee Terrace. This is my working schedule during the internship in the Coffee Terrace, which is one week in the operation team and the four week with the outlet assistant manager. During my internship in the operation team, I have learned how to make the table setting for the buffet line and the buffet line setting, making reservation and hosting. The hosting job is to bring the customer to their seat after they making the payment. For the following week, I follow the outlet assistant manager, which is Jack. He teach me how to do the daily report, weekly report, monthly report, and the P&L report. He also teach me how to handling the function that organized in the GICC room. He also teach me how to construct the staff booking schedule. The last department that I go through is the Imperial Rama Restaurant. Imperial Rama Restaurant is a Thailand and a Chinese cuisine. It is a fine dining restaurant, so I have learned how to set the fine dining setting. I also have a chance to work as a bartender. The supervisor also teach me how to doing the report, and I also do the operation job such as the waiter and a runner. The challenge that I faced during the internship is the lack of experience. Second is the don't have the structured schedule. The last one is the have to face many different type of customer. Next, the thing that I have learned in the during the internship is the communication skill, initiative to learn, and time management skill. My name is Steven Chu. Uh, I'm a chef from New York. I'm specialized in modern French. What I do is uh, basically a lot of modern technique. I graduated from NYU, so uh, I worked in a hotel for five years as a manager. Um, didn't enjoy being as part of the hotel front of house operation, so I got it into cooking. So around 20, early 20, and I started to do a career change to become a chef. To be a chef is really Never look at the good pictures, always look at the, the process. Uh, I think the process is the hardest part. Uh, the, the process to be a good chef is what they don't see. The downside of becoming a chef, you, you, you lost your personal time, you lost what you, you don't have time for anything. Basic is a lot of hard work, being patient, love what you do, um, follow the good chef, catch the right technique, catch the right uh, idea. There is no impossible, it's always possible. 